Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Fishing Guides. We currently had an update, so now we're at version 4.4.0. So with this update came a lot of good elements, and we're gonna go ahead and go through each one. The first big one is gonna be the point battle modification. So now point battles are gonna be one hour instead of 24, and then you and your guild can go ahead and choose the exact day and time that you guys wanna have the point battle. So for example, my guild, we're gonna have ours on Sunday at 8 a.m. So this should really increase the amount of participants that you have in the guild and for those who are highly competitive it can really come with great opportunities to work together as a team we also received a new item with this update and it's going to be that six star single property reset ticket so with this update everyone who has titan equipment is going to receive five tickets so for example if you have six titan equipment you're going to go ahead and receive 30 tickets and the way these resets work is it's actually going to reset the property without actually changing the power level, which is also pretty great. And at the moment, the only way to receive these is by being the top ranker for those King of Fish battles. We also received a check-in event that's actually pretty good. So if you check in every day, you'll receive the various awards. And at the end of the month, once you complete everything, everything will reset every month on the first day. Another great feature that comes in handy, especially for the big fish, is gonna be the equipment preparation. So what this does is actually like saving a set of items so that whenever you're at a fishing spot, you can go ahead and click on the icon once again, and then you'll get to quickly change out your items in just a couple of taps as opposed to before when you had to change everything individually one by one. So once again, just another improvement on gameplay that should make everything a lot easier on this. So this is definitely very convenient. Another good thing to point out with this update is the pearl storage. So now we actually doubled the amount of pearl storage that we had, which is pretty great because if you're saving pearls for big fish properties, it's really going to give you the opportunity to expand that tackle box. Another thing that's pretty cool is you can now see all four stats for your pearls with you no longer having to scroll to see everything. So once again, just a little tweak that really improves gameplay and just makes the user experience a lot better. Other small improvements that you may notice is pop-up menu improvements. Another slight improvement is them dimming the lighthouse at the Mediterranean Sea. So that's going to be the level 80 fishing spot. So if that lighthouse flash really bothered you, it should be a little bit easier on the eyes. Your pearl property stats gained from high-end upgrades will also be implemented on your My Info. Personally, one of the things that's not really talked about that I'm pretty happy about is crafting equipment. So for me, I was having an issue where I couldn't really craft any equipment even though I tried. So once I pushed combined, it really wouldn't do anything. With this new update, they did fix that bug. So I am able to start working on my King of Fish gear once again. Now with this update and with every other update, you know, there's going to be issues that we are going to notice. So some of the issues is going to be the Guild Achievement Emblem Reward image. Uh, that doesn't really display properly each time. And then there's a few other bugs with the fishing preparation feature. So we're pretty excited about this update pretty good everything should definitely be a lot more uh, friendly for the uh, users so overall generally this is a pretty good update go ahead and be sure to check out my other videos as i'll continue to generate content for you all but other than that i'll see you guys next time and don't forget to subscribe if you like what i'm doing